Hey everybody, this is Peter, and in this video segment, we're going to audit an antivirus config and installation with Nessus 3. Um, just before we start here, most people don't know that you can actually do this with Nessus, um, but one thing you do have to know is that you actually need the professional feed to do this. It's uh, not included in the home feed. So, first thing we're going to do, we have a box, um, a specific system running uh, MacVie antivirus, but we've actually shut it off. Um, so, what we're going to do is perform an assessment or an audit to make sure that, for example, our systems on the network are uh, running antivirus, it's enabled, it's installed, and um, uh, it, it's running as it should. So we've got Nessus up. We're going to go ahead and add in our uh, the system that we're going to scan, which is 10113. We're going to go ahead and create a new policy. And our new policy, we'll go ahead and call it AV scan. Doesn't really matter in this in this simple example. All right. In our options, we'll turn off pinging the remote host. <clears throat> Let's go into plugin selection. This is the most important thing. So we're going to disable everything so the scan is shorter and we're only scanning for a specific thing. But one thing that you do need in policy compliance, you actually need to turn on Windows compliance checks. And I'll show you why in a second. Um, because we're going to actually add um, a specific audit file that is used to uh, check whether or not a system is running the appropriate uh, antivirus version. So after we've done that, We'll go into credentials. We'll put in the administrator username and password for the system we're scanning. So why we're doing that, obviously, in order to get a real deep scan of a specific system and find out, you know, whether or not antivirus is running or whatever it is, you have to actually be able to log on with administrative privileges. So we'll type in our password. And we'll go back to the advanced tab here now. And in here, you'll see we're going to choose Windows file checks or compliance checks. And this is where we specify our McAfee audit file and where do you get these files well like I said if you had a professional feed if you've purchased that from Tenable Network Security um, you have access to all these files you got MacFee.audit, um, you got Semantic, you got pretty much all the AV uh, antivirus software out there and a bunch of other compliance checks like PC, PCI compliance and uh, checking as well and auditing so we'll go ahead <clears throat> we'll save that we'll highlight our AV scan policy and we'll go ahead and click on scan now You'll see I've cut maybe 10 or 15 seconds out of here because we're only we're only scanning one host and we're only scanning for um, a compliance check, a Windows compliance check. It really doesn't take that long. So you'll see our host came up, and we'll see a critical action there on the top in red. And let's just look at that for a sec. You'll see Windows compliance checks. So McAfee virus scan enterprise was it found on this machine? Is it active? Failed. So we've just proved basically that we've scanned our system, we've taken a look at it, and it hasn't. It's not compliant to what our you know, organizational policies are and so on. That's pretty much it, guys. That's how you do it. Thanks a lot for coming out, and we'll see you in the next one.